It's our turn to make sure that in that tradition of Ken Conrad and Byron Dorgan and Senator Burdick, that you elect someone who gets it, who gets it in ways that I don't think Congressman Burks even thought. Of. I don't think he has spent any time. You know, I have to tell you a quick story. You know, I, I, I went to um, uh, Fort Berthold at the very end of my time as, a, as Attorney General and I was walking through the administration building going to a meeting and this small child who was out of school that day, I think it was like one of those holidays, and came running up and said hello to me. And I heard this woman behind me say, even the little children here know her. Even the little children know her. This year, Congressman Berg had to ask for directions to the administration. <laughs> what does he know? What does he know of your struggles? What does he know of your challenges? What does he know? And I can't pretend to know either. But at least I've been there. I've met with you. I have visited with you. I understand that if we are going to make a better world for all of our children, for all of our children, we have to stand shoulder to shoulder. We have to work together. We have to stand respectfully, government to government, and official to official, walking together with the common cause of education for our children, of health care for our people, of fair treatment for our veterans, affordable housing, affordable housing in this horrible challenge of North Dakota, and maybe some employment rights, maybe making sure that we have economic development so that this, you, you hear the bragging about what goes on in North Dakota, but yet we know we still have record amounts of unemployment back at home. How do we fix that? More education, more degrees per person, but yet no education, no, no employment opportunities. How do we fix that? We fix that by electing someone who knows those struggles, who hears about those challenges. And I will be so proud, I will be so proud to represent you and be your voice in the United States Senate. But I will tell you this, the last close election for the United States Senate, Senator Conrad, won by 2,000 votes. <clears throat> Do you think he did it without Native people voting? Native people elected Ken Conrad. He never forgot it. Native people elected Quentin Burdick. He never forgot it. I do not win unless you vote. I will tell you that as sincerely as I'm standing here. I will not win if you don't vote. This race is like this. And the secret and the ability to put it over the top is to ask you to please vote yourself and to get your family to vote, get your friends to vote, know where you go to vote, and get those votes in early. And I will tell you that on election night, when you turn on your television, and NBC or ABC or CBS or CNN, whoever it is, says, can you believe it? This red-headed girl from North Dakota won a United States Senate seat. You say, with Native help. With Native help. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. You know, the Native name that I was given translates into never turns back. That's the native name that I was given. I can tell you something. We get Heidi Heitkamp in the United States Senate. She will never turn back. And she will never turn her back on people who helped her when it mattered the most. She cares about all the people of North Dakota. Not just the people at the country club, all the people. This election is in your hands. This race is just as close as it can be. It is going to be decided by the individual decisions of people in this room and rooms all across North Dakota. Are people going to go and vote? Or are they going to let this swamp of out-of-state money from people who want to dictate to us triumph? That's really the question. I can tell you right now, we have learned that the other party has plans to try to keep you from voting. They're going to have people at the ballot box challenging you, 
saying you're not a resident of North Dakota. They're going to try to stop you from voting. Don't let them. Don't let them. This is our future. We've got really good people running. Heidi and Pam. And they've been your friends. And you know it. And you can count on them. Never turn back. Never turn back. Never give up. Let's win this election. Let's elect Heidi. Let's elect Pam. Let's elect Pam. Let's up and down the battle. Thank you. Thank you.